The corona effect in UK has been downgraded to low risk. And here the date, ladies and gentlemen. COVID-19 COVID was downgraded on the 19th March 2020. If you do not know, ladies and gentlemen, by just listening to that alone, that you are being spoken to in code, then you do not understand their codes. And that's fine, because I'm going to cover so many of these subjects. I'm going to pull them out the sky, as it were. So by the end of this video, you will be educated on how these codes work. And not only that, what it does to your subconscious mind and what it does by programming, robbing you of that which is yours. Because corona means the crown. In Latin, it means golden crown. In Spanish, it means crown. In birthing terms, it means when a child is born, its crown is shown because we are born with a crown around our head, as in the three wise men who gift Jesus gold. When you hear the words like coronavirus or corona effect, those words program and move your subconscious mind, which causes most of your automatic responses. So what your subconscious mind hears is, do not touch the gold, do not speak of the gold, do not look at the gold, do not look at the glare of the gold, keep away from the gold, do not speak to people with gold. It is the grammar that I challenge and it is the foundations of their language which is being challenged. When your spirit, when your subconscious mind hears this on the period of Lent, so-called forgiveness, what it hears is several things and I'll cover two. One of them is keep away from each other that you may speak of the gold or look upon each other's eyes which is the corona effect in each other's eyes. The separation, ladies and gentlemen, has another fold because every currency in this world, apart from Venezuela, far as I know, and I'll cover that later, has been gold-backed. That means every pound note, every dollar note in your pocket is a potential gold certificate. In other words, since the note itself, which is a corporate instrument, is redeemable by gold. And what do you think is going to happen when the general public realizes that they have gold certificate notes as dollars and pounds in their pocket and it can be redeemed for real gold and silver. What you're looking at is a conventional 20 pound note printed only a few weeks ago. And on there you will see gold. And on the reverse side, you will see silver. And you will see a hallmark of gold on the bottom right hand corner, where it's taking authority in gold. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a five pound note from the 70s. And this note has a strip of silver in it. And that strip of silver says that this is redeemable by pound sterling. And to signify that, it has got the double bars on that pound sign, signifying it's backed by, shall we say, the creator's money. This fictional note, the 20 pound note, which is still nothing more than a note, which is a corporate instrument printed by a private bank, in this case called the Bank of England, as to opposed to the Federal Reserve Bank, which are all private, needs to be redeemed. And they're making open declaration it can be redeemed against gold. Now what do you think in your mind and in your heart will happen when the general public hears about this golden opportunity? This video is about the celebration of life. And I am bringing you those things that gift you life like the gold, like the silver, the possession of your own language, the possession of what is coming to you now. 
which is when you have gold-backed notes, you are essentially economically a sovereign. And your subconscious mind on another level is being programmed to say that you are now a sovereign. And because you are a sovereign, you have the ability to settle and pay your way through life as to opposed to use promissory notes or fiat currency. And they are programming you with that social separation that you need to get ready for the very fact and it's a real fact that you are now a sovereign wanting to give you further closure to give you more education your county coroner not the deputy coroner not the chief coroner at least in Britain when you write a letter to the coroner's office in his coroner's court and ask him has anybody died of this coronavirus? Make sure that he answers back. And when he does, or she, that it is the coroner, the medical officer that deals with living human beings. If it doesn't, then it's the deputy coroner. The deputy coroner deals with artificial people, which is putting to sleep corporate names which you now know as the all capitals name a situation where your status in life has been reduced to that of a dead entity your deputy coroner deals with dead people as in artificial people your coroner's court deal with living human beings that have passed away from our world and he has to perform all of those things that to check that you really are dead and not asleep. And he has to put his name to that dead body, has to oppose to the dead corporate entity. These are some of the mechanisms that you're not aware. So when your county coroner deals with you as the deputy coroner, he's dealing with you as a dead entity. When they bring you into court, he's bringing you in the all caps name. Hence the word county court. When you have a parish council, parish quite literally means to die. It means that you have perished, but they will twist the vowels. And I'll speak about the vowels. They twist the vowel and they change it to an A from an E, from an E to an A, to make sure that your subconscious mind hears either way we are dealing with dead people. And there they will administer their hocus pocus. I am performing on these rituals as well as the symbols that these people hide behind. I am performing that iconoclastic movement where the new matrix will smash every part of their symbolisms. Every part of the shadows that they try to hide behind. When David Way Miller smashed and exposed their language fraud by mathematical means they cannot hide in those words but at the moment they have been successfully hiding in those symbols hiding behind those symbols and shadows that it cast well that's all coming to an end because the county coroner you will deal with human beings and you will tell the deputy coroner that when he is dealing with a corporate entity to make sure that he makes that clear. Otherwise, in this era, in this time of Lent of forgiveness, since you have not asked forgiveness, and since all of your kind has not asked forgiveness, well, how can I possibly forgive it? Yes, Vatican City, I know the game that you have played. Got the whole world believing that they have to confess their sins. Well, Who's going to listen to your sins and who's going to forgive them if you have not confessed? Then there is no question of you receiving or getting forgiveness. This is a day of man. Man is the man species. Celebrated in all four corners of this earth because that's what four corners means. 
like the four corner rule. It means that you are claiming the earth, the four corners of the earth, which is another word for a document. I want you to have the knowledge, the power to realize that you are now economically a sovereign because all the notes are going to be backed by gold. As a general warning to the public, the court systems, as well as the corporations and governments will be starting to remove and have been doing for nearly a year of all the psychopaths, what they call psychopathy. This is a subhuman condition where they take a great deal of pleasure in removing your sweat equity because your sweat equity is your life. Well, they're getting kicked out. They're getting kicked out by the thousands. So the individuals that are out there as well as those small businesses, look out for them. Do not be frightened to give them a psychopathy test. Find out if they are narcissists, because certainly so many have come into my life. That is not a bad thing, because out of the thousands that I have taught directly, half a dozen or even a dozen more of these parasites is no big thing. But for those individuals that are not good enough, to be able to deal with them because their ability to disguise themselves as it is said, the wolf in lamb's clothing. It is a disguise and they work it very well. So, if you need to, expose them for what they are. Let them feel the full impact of their own narcissistic injury. For those people that have not seen my other videos, I'm going to say it again. Your religions who lack faith believe that you are faithless. And because of this, they've played a horrible trick on you. That is, they have got you believing that it is you that has committed the sin. That it is you that created the mortgage, the death pledges, the sins, which are another word for debt. And they have got you on this day of Lent to say the so-called Lord's Prayer, to say that you forgive those who trespass against you. You can only forgive if somebody confesses their trespass, if somebody confesses their mortgage, the debt that they have put you in, that they were practicing slavery on you under the Pinnage Act for the U.S. citizens. All of this is coming to an end because by the end of Lent you will not be able to walk yourself into the Easter period getting forgiveness from any of my students and because you have violated so many things your position in this world is null and void. All of those things that you thought you had is null and void. You thought under the motto proprio you could control the banks. You thought you could access whenever you want people's sweat equity. You thought you was the middleman between them and their creator. Who needs a middleman? Nobody needs a middleman and you are sacked. Get out of my life. Get out of this planet. Get out of this four corners of this earth. For the general public to grasp the horrors of what I'm talking about. When you go into a hospital, and you give birth to a baby. Did you know that you are most likely going to a foundling hospital? A foundling hospital is where a mother goes to give birth because she does not know the father, who the person was that gave her the seed. That of course, you don't know that. And you sign that certificate that says that that baby is the ward of state. Well, if the state wishes to look after the baby, they have to do so by openly telling them what that document is. And if they have any contract to provide essential services, they will do it with wholeheartedness rather than by crooked means. I have put the link in as to what a foundling hospital is and how they renew that contract every three years, every two years and every single year under your own noses. What do you think the word Salvation Army means? It's a Salvation 
operation and it's done by an armed force. This is the problems of this world. There are a commercial activity. So I am telling you, you better open up your books because you said you are doing things in honor. You better open it up and you better be straight because without that opening, we will never have the opportunity to forgive you because you need to confess. You need to show what it is that you have done to ask forgiveness from the rest of this world. The pernicious contracts that bind man into slavery, it was done through the Vatican Church as well as all of those other people that participated. They went all over the world even before so-called Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. Even before then, 10th century, 9th century, they went all over the world and then they treated with the chieftains and said, hey, would you like to treat it with us where we can hoodwink the population, where we can hoodwink the subjects without them knowing it is your chieftains that are doing this. So when you hear about Israel, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that land was given to them by the chieftains. In the city of London, which is a city-state, that city-state has what is known as a chief commoner. And that chief commoner owns all the water supply, the minerals, the lands, and so on and so forth. Look it up. The information is on the comment box. That chieftain controls minerals. You are minerals. Essentially, he controls, or she, all of the essential things that you need to sustain life. Not as a matter of security, but as a means of sucking life from you. Let me make this very clear. If the city-states of the world, like Washington DC, like the city of London, like the Vatican, and all of these other city-states, and there are so many of them, if they were providing you with essential services and were being honorable, in that case, would all roads lead to Rome or will all roads lead from Rome? Because if it was coming from Rome, then they would be giving you sustenance. They would be giving you essential services. But no, all roads lead to Rome because they suck energy. When's the last time you've been into a financial district, which is a city-state? When have you ever seen generosity take place? They suck the life out of the countries that they're in through the use of banking mechanisms, through the use of fictitious conveyance of language, which is unforgivable in the eyes of the army, the navy, as well as the air force. The navy means the naval that is attached to the navy operations or the naval operations. And they've been with you since the day of birth. I wonder how they got there. It's an open declaration. It is an open statement like the corona. They are right in front of your face. For those names that have been funding Lloyds, especially in the 80s when Lloyds took so much of your money and then came after your estates and you lost your estates. For those names that are out there, if you start to begin to launch your complaint, with this court, you will have a very good chance to hold them to account. So you names out there, you really do have a public grievance. I told you, Lloyds, not to play stupid games with me. You have done things that are not forgivable. And in this period, I don't forgive you. Period. Some of the other reasons why so much of these things are in lockdown. It's because all contracts, all claims of governments, all contracts like the pharmaceutical industry, which is another word for makers of poisons and potions, are hoping that you folks won't figure that out. And they are hoping that you would forgive them for making poisons and potions and injecting them into living men and women. They are hoping 
that you won't spot it. They are hoping that you will forgive them. They are hoping to renew that contract. No, you cannot renew that contract. You will not mix potions and you will not mix these dangerous toxic chemicals because that's what a license does, doesn't it? It gives you permission to break the law of which without you are breaking the law itself. That license is not renewable. Any of those doctors out there, any of those physicians out there, if they even talk to you and say to you, you can't prescribe water. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can't prescribe water. You can't say that they need to drink more water. You can't prescribe even green tea. You can launch a complaint. And as I have done before, I'll shut them down. You know me now, folks, don't you? Certainly you've done enough character assassinations on me and that hasn't been forgiven either. If you are so overwhelmed by the information that I'm giving you, which can be all cross-referenced again and again, and it is self-qualifying, you just look up that word, knee science, spelt N-E and science. It means that you was never shown what the things are and that you was not aware of it. This does not make you ignorant because ignorance means that you are willfully neglecting the facts. Since the facts have been withheld from you, you are not exactly ignorant, are you? You have been engineered not to know the things that I am talking about. Again, the stuff that I am telling you is not theoretical. If you want to know some of the names of the players, like the Committee of 300, where you can see their bank account details and who they are and who these people are that make your gods to worship, those people that engineer your movies, your soap operas and your so-called statutes and legislations in their private capacity. Well, you can't hide in that zone any more than the judiciary can hide because we have that wonderful word, private-public partnership, where I can pull you out of the private any time that I want. So if you want any of these documents with all of those details, and by the way, you're going to be very surprised how many zeros they got at the end of their bank account. I don't have a word for it. Some of them go up to 64, 200 zeros to their names. And these will be names that you know of, like Tony Blair, like the Middle East and countries, like Iran and uh, Russia. All of these people are just one group playing the same game on you. And if you want the physical evidence with their names, I'll give it to you. If you want the bank accounts and their balances, I'll give it to you. If you want to know where they put their money in, ask me. I'll send it to you. If you want to know the mechanisms by which, how they harvest people through the county courts, the actual mechanisms on paper, not that I've created it, from independent source, just ask me. I'll send it to you. Coming on to Venezuela. Venezuela at this moment is not backing its currency by gold. As a result, the US has put, I think, a 15 million pound bounty on his head for necro-terrorism. Necro means dead. That means they still want to issue dead notes. Necro-terrorism is also another word for drug dealing. But of course, they're all part of one committee called the Committee of 300. And they move and talk amongst themselves as the good friends that they are. Want proof of it? I'll send it to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the world is not what you think it is. The world that you live in is made up of the men and women that engineer these images into your head, that engineer these words into your vocabulary, like forgiveness, like asking you to say what your sins are and they forgive you but you do not ask them what their sins were for you to forgive them. But they do that by crooked means and say, as I forgive them. 
It is a choice. And it is always a choice whether you wish to forgive or not. Just as a wife that may catch her husband cheating on her, it is up to her whether she forgives or not forgives. If she forgives, then there is a marriage. And that is what they're trying to do with this period of the corona effect. They are asking you to forgive them for all of those things that they have done, the wars that they have started, all of the billions and trillions of useless notes that they have printed and weighed themselves fabulously rich, as it were, at your expense. It is up to that wife whether she wishes to forgive or not. And if she does not forgive, then the contract, the marriage, is null and void. And that is the real power that you have in your lives, in your hands, in your vocabulary. All it takes is one letter for you write to anybody that's made a claim on you because the pen is always mightier than the sword.